Have you ever wondered what truly happens inside your body when you skip food for an entire day? Not just the hunger pangs or the growling stomach, but the profound biological transformation taking place in every cell, every organ, every system? Today, we're diving deep into the science of 24-hour fasting, and what you're about to discover might completely change how you think about the relationship between food and your body. What seems like a simple decision, not eating for a day, triggers one of the most sophisticated survival mechanisms built into human biology. Your body doesn't panic. Instead, it orchestrates a symphony of metabolic changes that our ancestors relied upon for millennia. These changes aren't random reactions to starvation. They're precisely calibrated responses that have been refined over hundreds of thousands of years of human evolution. Our bodies are remarkably equipped to handle periods without food. And understanding this process reveals the incredible intelligence of human metabolism. Let's explore this remarkable journey, hour by hour, backed by authentic scientific research. Imagine your last meal has just finished digesting. You feel satisfied, maybe even a little sleepy, as your body directs blood flow to your digestive system. But beneath the surface, your body is already preparing for what comes next. During these initial hours, your digestive system continues its routine work, processing nutrients from your last meal and distributing them throughout your bloodstream. Your stomach begins releasing digestive juices out of habit, almost expecting the next meal that isn't coming. It's programmed to follow patterns, anticipating food based on your regular eating schedule. Meanwhile, a hormone called ghrelin begins its daily rhythm. Research shows that ghrelin, often called the hunger hormone because it stimulates appetite, follows distinct patterns throughout the day, rather than simply increasing linearly with time since the last meal. Studies examining ghrelin secretion have found that it maintains its normal circadian rhythm during fasting, with the lowest levels in the morning around 8 a.m. and peak levels in the afternoon, followed by a gradual decline during the night. Interestingly, during a 24-hour fast, mean ghrelin levels may even show a small decline rather than the massive spike you might expect. One study found that ghrelin exhibited only a small but significant decline during fasting. This challenges the common assumption that fasting automatically means unbearable hunger. What's remarkable is that your energy levels remain stable during these early hours because your body has substantial fuel stores, approximately 1,600 to 2,000 kilocalories stored as glycogen in your liver and muscles ready to use. Your body is simply beginning the elegant transition from external fuel to internal reserves. Before we dive deeper into this transformative process, if you're new here, welcome to our community. We're passionate about bringing you science-backed insights into health and wellness. If you're finding value in this content, I'd truly appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And here's something I'm really curious about. Where are you watching from right now? Drop your country or city in the comments below. It's incredible to connect with viewers from around the globe. As you move past the six hour mark, your blood sugar levels start to decline from their post-meal highs. For many people, this is when fasting feels most challenging. You might experience fatigue, difficulty concentrating, or irritability. But physiologically, this represents a critical turning point in your metabolic journey. Your pancreas, that small but mighty organ nestled behind your stomach, responds to dropping blood sugar by releasing less insulin. Insulin is the hormone responsible for shuttling sugar from your bloodstream into your cells. With insulin levels falling progressively, your body can no longer rely on a steady stream of carbohydrates from frequent meals and snacks. This is when your liver steps into its starring role as the metabolic command center. Studies examining fasting metabolism show that the liver begins systematically breaking down stored glycogen. Glycogen is essentially chains of glucose molecules stored in your liver and muscles. In humans, fasting for about 12 to 24 hours results in complete depletion of hepatic glycogen stores, though this timing varies depending on your physical activity levels and the size of your glycogen reserves. 
the liver precisely releases this glucose into your bloodstream to maintain stability, especially for your brain, which under fed conditions consumes about 120 grams of glucose daily. But here's where the metabolic magic really begins. As glycogen stores diminish, your liver doesn't simply give up. Instead, it begins producing ketone bodies, small, water-soluble molecules created from fat breakdown through a process called ketogenesis. These include beta-hydroxybutyrate, acetoacetate, and acetone. Research demonstrates that in healthy adults, circulating ketone body concentrations start at approximately 100 to 250 micromolar after 12 hours of fasting and can rise to approximately 1 millimolar after 24 hours. To put this in perspective, ketone levels can increase tenfold during this initial fasting period. These ketones represent an alternative fuel source that your brain can use surprisingly efficiently. Studies show that during fasting, ketones can cross the blood-brain barrier through specific monocarboxylate transporters and provide energy to your neurons. Adult brain neurons express all necessary enzymes for using ketones to produce energy. This is metabolic flexibility at its finest, your body's remarkable ability to switch between different fuel sources depending on what's available. Somewhere between the 12th and 14th hour, insulin levels drop significantly. Think of insulin as a gatekeeper, controlling access to your fat stores. When insulin is high, those gates stay locked. But when insulin falls during fasting, fat cells release their stored energy into your bloodstream. Research on insulin sensitivity has demonstrated improvements in how your body responds to insulin following fasting periods. A study examining intermittent fasting found that insulin levels reduced by an average of 13.25 milliunits per liter, and the insulin resistance index, HOMA-I, reduced by an average of 0.31. Regular fasting periods may reduce long-term risks of type 2 diabetes by improving insulin efficiency. Interestingly, time-restricted feeding studies show that despite longer daily fasting periods, hunger can actually decrease. One study found that early time-restricted feeding decreased mean ghrelin levels by 32 picograms per milliliter and made hunger more even throughout the day. Your body is learning to stabilize energy supply from fat rather than constant food intake. By hour 15, your stomach has been empty for quite some time yet it continues producing acid and digestive enzymes according to its regular schedule. This apparent idleness actually serves an important purpose. It allows time for rest and repair. The longer your stomach remains empty, the more it shifts from active digestion to restoration. Constant eating, especially frequent snacking, prevents this natural recovery process. This rest period may help reduce inflammation in the digestive tract, benefiting overall gut health. Around the 17th hour, you may experience either remarkable mental sharpness or irritability. This stems from your brain's adaptation to ketones as fuel. Studies examining ketone metabolism show that during prolonged fasting, ketone bodies can provide about half of the oxidative fuel for the human brain, with glucose accounting for the remainder. From an evolutionary perspective, this makes perfect sense. When our ancestors went without food, they needed heightened awareness to hunt or gather effectively. Research on neuronal autophagy during fasting has shown this survival response is hardwired into our biology. However, individual responses vary based on metabolism, hydration, and overall health. Between hours 18 and 20, your body shifts into aggressive fat burning load. Fat cells break down triglycerides into free fatty acids that travel through your bloodstream to fuel muscles and organs. This represents authentic fat burning, where your body genuinely relies on stored fat for most energy needs. Research documents that after nearly a full day without food, Ketones can supply up to 60% of the brain's energy requirements under certain conditions. This metabolic state has attracted considerable research attention, particularly regarding neurological health. Studies suggest ketones may offer neuroprotective benefits and improved cognitive function. What's especially interesting is that fat breakdown also releases glycerol, which your liver converts back into glucose. 
This ensures red blood cells, which cannot use fat for fuel, still receive adequate sugar. It's a sophisticated energy management system, balancing the needs of different organs. By the 20th hour, your cardiovascular system has adapted to the metabolic changes. Research examining fasting and cardiac health has shown that 24 hours of fasting can activate autophagy in the hearts of lean mice, with significant conversion of LC3I to LC32, indicating enhanced cellular cleanup. Lower insulin levels and reduced glucose circulation can enhance cardiovascular function by decreasing blood pressure and reducing inflammation in blood vessels. However, fasting also temporarily affects electrolyte levels, which is why proper hydration becomes crucial. Around the 22nd hour, one of fasting's most fascinating processes intensifies, autophagy. This is your body's internal recycling program, where damaged proteins, broken cellular components, and waste products are systematically dismantled and reused. Research demonstrates that fasting is one of the most potent non-genetic autophagy stimulators. Studies using GFP-LC3 transgenic mice showed that food restriction for 24 hours caused a four-fold increase in autophagosome number in brain neurons. Short-term fasting induces profound neuronal autophagy, contrary to the previous belief that the brain was metabolically privileged. The implications of enhanced autophagy extend far beyond simple maintenance. Studies have linked this process to improved immune function, reduced risk of certain diseases, and potentially increased longevity. While most research is in animal models, evidence suggests similar mechanisms occur in humans. Think of autophagy as your cells finally getting time to perform deep cleaning. Under constant feeding, this process remains minimal because cells stay busy processing nutrients. Fasting flips a metabolic switch, giving cells opportunity to repair from within. As you approach hour 23, the trillions of bacteria in your intestines begin adapting to the absence of food. Without constant feeding, certain bacterial populations decrease, while others that thrive under fasting conditions become more active. Research examining prolonged intermittent fasting showed significant changes in autophagy, inflammasome, and senescence gene expressions over time. The study found that fasting could significantly reduce cellular senescence markers P21, P16, and P53 expression at later time points, suggesting potential anti-aging effects. Your intestinal lining takes advantage of this fasting period to strengthen itself. The barrier between gut contents and bloodstream becomes more robust, helping prevent toxins from leaking into circulation. This contributes to maintaining a healthier immune system overall. As you reach the 24-hour mark, one of the most unexpected effects becomes apparent, a dramatic increase in human growth hormone. This isn't marketing hype, it's documented science. Classic research showed that a five-day fast resulted in a significant increase in 24-hour integrated growth hormone concentration from 2.82 to 8.75 micrograms per minute per milliliter. That's more than a three-fold increase. Studies of shorter duration show similar patterns. 24 hours of fasting increases mean growth hormone levels significantly. Research examining water-only fasting found that 24-hour fasting increased growth hormone, and the increase was uncorrelated with weight loss. The study documented that the percent increase in growth hormone was greater for those with lower baseline levels. For women with baseline levels at or below 0.15 nanograms per milliliter, and men at or below 0.05 nanograms per milliliter, the median increase was 1,225% compared to 50.3% for those with higher baseline levels. Another landmark study found that during a 24-hour fast, growth hormone increased an average of 1,300% in women and nearly 2,000% in men. These increases occurred naturally, without drugs or supplements. Growth hormone plays crucial roles in tissue repair, fat mobilization for energy, and supporting cellular recovery. A two-day fast induced a five-fold increase in 24-hour endogenous growth hormone production. 
This was achieved through both increased frequency of growth hormone secretory bursts and increased mass of growth hormone secreted per burst. The mechanism involves changes in GHRH release and somatostatin withdrawal. One common fear about fasting is muscle loss. However, research shows that during the first 24 hours, muscle breakdown remains minimal. Your body intelligently prioritizes fat and glycogen breakdown before touching protein stores. Studies show that growth hormones' protein-retaining effects during fasting involve inhibition of muscle protein breakdown. Only when fasting extends well beyond a day does significant muscle loss become a concern. Short-term fasting actually protects lean mass through the growth hormone surge. What you might notice is slightly reduced physical strength or endurance during fasting. This stems not from muscle loss, but from reduced muscle glycogen, which limits available energy for intense activity. Many athletes use intermittent fasting to maintain lean muscle while reducing body fat. Reaching the 24-hour mark represents both challenge and achievement. Your body has fully adapted to fat metabolism, ketone production, and cellular cleanup. You've experienced how flexible and resilient human metabolism can be. However, it's crucial to emphasize that fasting isn't appropriate for everyone. Individuals with certain medical conditions, including diabetes, heart disease, eating disorders, or conditions requiring regular medication should never attempt extended fasting without medical supervision. Pregnancy, breastfeeding, childhood, and adolescence require regular nutrition. For healthy adults, a single 24-hour fast can be an eye-opening reset, but it shouldn't replace the fundamentals balanced nutrition, quality sleep, regular physical activity, and stress management remain the foundation of wellness. Fasting is simply one tool among many. What does accumulated research tell us? For most healthy adults, 24-hour fasting is generally safe and activates remarkable biological pathways. These include enhanced fat burning, with ketone levels rising to approximately one millimolar, cellular autophagy with documented increases in autophagosome formation, hormonal shifts, including five-fold increases in growth hormone, and neurological adaptation with ketones providing up to 60% of brain energy under certain conditions. The evidence from peer-reviewed research demonstrates that fasting is less about deprivation and more about rediscovering metabolic flexibility. It reveals how adaptable the human body is when transitioning from constant consumption to cellular renewal. At the same time, fasting isn't a magic cure. It cannot replace nutritious eating habits, adequate sleep, or regular exercise. Consider it a strategy, a way to occasionally reset metabolism and provide organs with dedicated maintenance time. The journey of a single day without food uncovers incredible complexity and adaptability. What feels like simple hunger represents a sophisticated, multi-layered transformation involving every organ system. Whether you choose to experiment with fasting or not, you now understand the remarkable science beneath the surface. I hope this deep dive into the biology of fasting has opened your eyes to the sophisticated survival mechanisms we all carry within us. If you found this video helpful and informative, I'd truly appreciate it if you could type yes in the comments below. Your feedback motivates us to keep producing science-based content like this, and it helps us understand what topics matter most to you. If you enjoyed learning about the science behind fasting, please hit that like button and share this video with anyone who might benefit from understanding how their body responds to temporary food restriction. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss our upcoming explorations into health and wellness science. Thank you so much for watching, for being part of this community, and for your curiosity about how your body works. Until next time, stay healthy, stay curious, and remember that knowledge is the first step toward making informed decisions about your well-being.